Arika Johnson, just now, shared with public. Alita, Battle Angel 190, Iron City Rising. Character list. Alita, Rosa Salazar. Doc Ito, Christoph Waltz. Hugo, Kian Johnson. Nano, Chicha Amatayakul. Arika, Nana Kamatsu. Hoot, Cybernetic Owl. Echo, Cybernetic Fox. Scene 1. Aftermath of Battle The streets of Iron City are littered with debris. Crimson Lord's massive corpse lies motionless, his once imposing figure reduced to a pile of smoldering metal and shattered armor. Alita, Arika, and Nano stand amidst the wreckage, catching their breath. We took him down, but this isn't over, Alita mutters, sheathing her Damascus blade. Arika takes a drag from her cigarette, looking over the ruins of the city with narrowed eyes. Yeah, but who's next in line to try and rip this place apart? Nano, still exhausted from her psionic assault on the Crimson Lord, rubs her temples. Whatever it is, we need time to recover. Hoot perches on a broken building nearby, while Echo's metal paws click softly as he patrols the perimeter. They've scanned the immediate area, but their sensors detect nothing yet. Suddenly, Doc Ito's voice crackles through the comms. Team, get back to base. We need to regroup and prepare. Something's coming. Scene 2. New threat emerges. Back at the base, Doc Ito stands in front of a large holographic map, the team gathered around. Red markers blink ominously around the outskirts of Iron City. These locations, they've all gone silent in the past hour, Doc Ito says, his tone grim. The Crimson Lord was just the beginning. It seems like the real threat is still on its way. Alita leans forward, fists clenched. What are we dealing with, Doc? Reports suggest a coalition of rogue cyborg warlords moving in. They were waiting for the Crimson Lord to soften the city up. Now they're planning to take what's left. Arika crosses her arms, a smirk playing on her lips. Good. I was getting bored anyway. Nano narrows her eyes, scanning the map. They'll come in waves. We need to strike fast before they organize. Doc Ito nods. Hoot and Echo are already scouting. We'll have intel soon. Scene 3. Scouting intel. Hoot's mechanical voice fills the room as he transmits data from his aerial survey. Confirmed targets approaching from the southeast quadrant. Small units, heavily armored. Echo, pacing around the perimeter, sends his own report. No movement in the northern sector, but signs of recent combat. They're sending the first wave through the southeast. Alita tightens her grip on her blade. We take them out before they reach the city. Nano closes her eyes, her hands glowing faintly. I'll need to conserve my energy this time. I can't afford to burn out. Arika cracks her knuckles, her katana gleaming in the dim light. I've got plenty of energy. Let's get to work. Scene 4. The First Wave The team moves swiftly through the half-destroyed streets of Iron City. Smoke from the earlier battle still lingers in the air as they approach the southeast sector. The ground shakes with the heavy footsteps of approaching warlords, hulking cyborgs, their bodies bristling with advanced weaponry. Alita spots them first, her eyes narrowing. There. The warlords, six of them, each standing over seven feet tall, march toward the city, their glowing red eyes focused on destruction. Their leader, a massive brute with a cannon for an arm, raises his weapon and fires a barrage of plasma bolts. Alita leaps to the side, dodging the blasts with agility. Arika, you take the left flank. Nano, cover us from behind. Arika charges forward, her katana slicing through the air as she meets the first of the cyborg warlords head-on. Her blade slashes across its chest, sparks flying as metal meets metal. Too slow. Arika taunts, spinning around and driving her katana into the warlord's exposed neck joint, severing its head in a shower of sparks. Scene 5. The battle rages on. As Arika battles the warlords up close, Alita engages the leader. His plasma cannon glows ominously as he charges up another shot, but Alita is already on the move. She dashes forward, her Damascus blade slicing through the air as she targets his arm. 
The cannon explodes in a burst of energy as Alita's blade cuts through it, sending the warlord staggering back. Not so tough without your toys, Alita growls, delivering a final blow to his chest, tearing through his armor. Meanwhile, Nano focuses her psionic energy, sending waves of telekinetic force toward the remaining warlords, slowing their movements and giving Arika an opening. Now, Arika! Nano shouts, her eyes glowing with power. Arika doesn't hesitate. She moves like a blur, her katana a deadly streak of light as she cuts through the remaining warlords, dismembering them one by one. Her blade hums with each strike, her attacks precise and lethal. Scene 6. A Pyrrhic Victory The last of the warlords falls, their bodies littering the streets. The team stands amidst the wreckage, victorious but exhausted. They were the first wave, Alita says, her breath coming in short bursts. There'll be more. Arika flicks the blood from her katana, lighting up a cigarette. Bring M on. Nano, visibly drained, wipes the sweat from her brow. We can't keep fighting like this. We need to take the fight to them. Doc Ito's voice cuts through the comms. Alita, I've intercepted a transmission. The main force is gathering near the outskirts. If you strike now, you might be able to stop them before they reach the city. Alita nods. We move now. Scene 7, on the offensive. The team regroups and heads toward the city outskirts, where the remaining cyborg warlords are gathering. The area is heavily fortified, with warlords patrolling the perimeter and massive energy shields protecting the command center. Hoot flies ahead, scanning for weak points in their defenses. Energy shields are concentrated around the command structure. Disable the generators, and you'll have a clear shot. Echo, silently moving through the shadows, sends data to Alita. Generators located. Five total. They're heavily guarded. Alita looks at the team. We split up. Take out the generators, then we hit their command center. Arika, Nano, you're with me. Let's finish this. Scene 8. The assault begins. The team splits into smaller units, each targeting a generator. Alita and Arika move through the shadows, taking out patrols with swift, silent strikes. Nano stays close, her psionic energy ready to disrupt any incoming threats. Arika grins as they approach the first generator. Let's blow this thing. With precise teamwork, they take out the first generator, then the second. One by one, the energy shields flicker and die. We're in, Alita says over the comms. Time to end this. Scene 9, The Final Stand With the shields down, the team converges on the command center. The remaining warlords are ready for them, but they fight with everything they've got. Alita's blade cuts through the armored warlords, Arika's katana moving like a deadly whirlwind, and Nano's psionic blasts keeping them at bay. The final warlord, a towering figure with cybernetic enhancements, steps forward. His voice is a deep, metallic growl. You think you've won? This is only the beginning. Alita narrows her eyes. We'll see about that. Scene 10. Victory and Uncertainty The final warlord falls, his massive body crashing to the ground. The battle is over, but the cost has been high. The team stands amidst the wreckage, battered and bruised but alive. Doc Ito's voice comes through the comms. Well done, everyone but we still have work to do. There's always another threat on the horizon. Alita looks at her team, determination in her eyes. We'll be ready. Arika smirks, lighting another cigarette. Damn right we will. Nano, still drained but standing strong, looks toward the horizon. And Hugo? He's still out there. Alita nods. We'll find him. But first, we rebuild. Then we fight again. To be continued. Like, comment, share.